Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Welcome hey, back. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't, know, I don't know if we go that far. We're just doing a quick live because someone got into someone got into some trouble. Uh, and the whole world wants to hear from me. Um, I've heard it enough in the last three days. Yeah, the only 90 days blogger not talking about. I, I haven't been home. <laughs> we came home for a hot minute on um, after we saw Brooklyn, <clears throat> New York, and then we came home and then we left again. So this is our first time we've actually been home for like more than like a second. And I've gotten some uh, messages wanting to know about our date. I said, I thought we talked about our date. It was in the parking lot. It was hot. We had a hot date. Stop. I'm still full from that dinner, by the way. <laughs> Can I tell you people, there's some things you guys don't know about John. And the first thing is, he don't eat. I do. No. No, yeah, you, know, you eat like a bird. You made me eat all the appetizers because they were going to go to waste. So I me filled up on all the appetizers. We put them to shame, right, Cody? You made me eat all the appetizers. So when my main course oh, came out, I was oh, full. No. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, Hi, Wendy, yeah. or or bye, Wendy. Um, I see. <laughs> I'll see you on the replay. Hi, Barbie. Perfectly imperfect videos. Tony Ann, Ruth Ann, Velvet Pixie, <laughs> Sheila. Let's see, Mel B. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've done this. Michelle, Ellie, Wicked, Yay. Tanya, Patricia with a C, Eliza, Joanne. Hello, hello, hello. Chaos, hello. Cousin Joe, Keila Bila. Um, Ari Sue, not my real name, B, Rita, Johnny Mac, again there, Teresa, MTT, oh, I ran out of room there. I get I got easy. Hey, easy. Did you guys. say bye, Wendy? Is she, did she leave? She, she's like, hi, I have to go. My, oh, my daughter's having a party. Wendy. So I was like, <laughs> the hi and the bye. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, I don't know why so, I already put my input on it. Shall but, we uh, talk about it now? Yeah, let's 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 do it. Uh, yes. let, me play, let me play the other intro, then we'll get right into it. Uh, <laughs> Angela's fun night out. <laughs> um, where is the other thing? Let me see. Nope, not that. Let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh. 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 Yes, he's fabulous. And he, he's on the inside. Oh. 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 All right. Hey, Teddy. All right. So um, now if you guys remember a few weeks ago, we were supposed to go live with Angela and we were actually supposed to be at that event that that happened at. Um, Luckily, they weren't. So um, you would have been beating on John. Originally, uh, it was supposed to like, you know, Angela was doing like the lip sync battle and there's a whole bunch of like, you know, reality people there. There's a lot of people like Big Brother and Survivor. I think Dina from Jersey Shore was there. Um, a couple other reality shows that I don't, don't know much about. And um, Jill Zarin, she's a housewife. She was a guest judge. And Pal was there and Molly was there and Dr. Jen was there and Angela was there. I'm trying to think if that's everybody who I could think of that was present for the 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 uh what's what is that you judge judy call it uh you had a what a kerfuffle. a kerfuffle the kerfuffle between um <laughs> the kerfuffle between dr jen and angela so we couldn't go because um that monday you when you saw us with brooklyn we had to like go to long island for like the last minute because something fell through and that's how that all kind of happened uh so we had to get that taken care of so we couldn't go plus like we were going to be like the backup dancers because uh angela was gonna sing uh rolling down the river by tina turner 
and me and Cody were going to be like her backup dancers. <laughs> we were, and um, that's, that's what awesome. we were going to announce on that live. We kind of announced it on TikTok prior to that live that night, um, and then we were going to announce again, but it just everything no, kind of no, no, just no, fell no, apart no, from all ends, so we didn't wind up going. Um, woo! Wow, to be a fly on the what a. I don't know if I should be happy that I didn't go. I said to him, so I knew John was supposed to go to this. And I knew he had to come to Long Island. He had to take care of some things. And he was already here. So he made yeah. last minute plans to go to dinner. But when I saw what took place, right away I texted him. I was like, aren't you lucky that you were not there? I said, Ooh. you imagine? Uh, and if you guys don't know, um, so um, I don't even know how to explain this so angela was there so instead of being cody and molly was always going to be there i don't want to say they replaced us or because they didn't but like so me and cody were going to be your backup dancers and then it was then i guess it was molly and dr jen now dr jen is um the one that she got into the kerfuffle with if you you've probably seen dr jen around for a few years if you've been following like so we've hung she out. was at the reunion and i also told you guys i used to go to her she used to do my uh botox Ashley did so you. who is dr jen well like, if you remember like i used we used to hang out with her back like when ashley and jay were around like she was like friends okay with i know who you're talking she's a blonde no no no, no. no. a wicked no, the last reunion that angela was on i'll show you a picture of her, her. hold on okay. Angela was with her in her room. They were, it was Angela's friend that she brought with her. She's like the esthetician. She does like, um, she has her own, um, what do you, what do you call it? The like Botox. Botox yeah. And Fillers. Yeah. I probably know her if I saw her. I just am thinking of a different. Oh, you won't forget her face. No, you won't. She's she's got a face that you won't forget, like Brooklyn said. <laughs> <laughs> I want and to listen. Rob. I like oh, I like Dr. Jen. Again now I want okay. Brooklyn. Okay. So this was us like okay. There's Dr. Jen right there. This is her this is this is a million years ago. There's Ashley. You can see how old this picture is. Um but that's Dr. Jen right there. Okay. So she's been around. She's been like she if there's like a 90 day fiance cast member or she does a lot of reality stars. She does like a couple of housewives I think. Um so she's she's been like around but she's recently been on the show she was never on the show before okay she's she's kind of showed up at with angela at the reunion last year like brooklyn said so she she's been around you know if you don't know the innards of the the inner circles like dr jen's been a fixture for a while she kind of like yeah. <laughs> herself but she kind of like hangs out with if there's a new cast member she's friends with them already kind of thing Gosh. Well, you know, it's all business for her, right? Like, you know, yes. you have a high, yes. you have a big yes. profile cast member on, you do some work for them, they shout you out. That's right. You know, and that's, that's how that right. works. Um, that's, you know, pretty much how this whole thing works. So, <clears throat> so Dr. Jen and Molly were the backup dancers. And I guess every, I don't think Angela won from what I'm hearing. And again, like I haven't been home. Like we left. What did we leave? We came back on like Monday night late, and then we were out Wednesday morning again. We were gone. So yeah. uh, you can't talk about it. like I wasn't even home. <laughs> and <then> people, <laughs> thank you, Wicked. <laughs> Appreciated. I don't even have any of my stuff around. It's been okay. a while. Um. So like you guys, I'm like, and like people are like texting me like while we were away, and they're like. Angela and Dr. Jen got into it. I'm like, no. And then, like, they sent me the Sun article. Okay, so let's get into the Sun article because. So, I mean, wait, you know Angela. Is she? I do. Is she like a mean drunk or is she a happy drunk or she gets to that it's, point? You know, I I don't know Angela, but it seems like she can go both ways. It seems like when she drinks, she drinks to drink. And she's always like out of control. It seems like. See, we've drank with her and like, we've always had fun. You know, I've never like, you know, even we were out of bars or at our house or whatever, or a hotel room. Um, you know, I've, so I've never, never seen Angela get to that level. Yeah. Ever. So it takes her a minute to. I mean, I've seen it. Hey, Angela, there you are. Hi, sweetie. 
Don't tell me I'm lying. I'm telling you, I've never seen you get to that level, girl. Um, no, I've never, I've never seen Angela, uh, like that at all. Like when I drink, like, and I don't drink often, but when I do, it go, it can go both ways with me. Like I could be great or I could be a bitch. Like I just don't know, so I try not to drink. Well, you know, you see me drink on lives, and it can go a whole, a whole, a whole bunch of different ways. Really, I mean, it's really, <laughs> it's really a roll or die when I'm when I'm when I'm drinking. Uh, but, uh, no, like I, I've never, ever, 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 I can promise you in a million different ways. I, I mean, we, we, we've gotten loaded together, but I've never seen, it was always fun and laughter and stuff like that. It would that. be interesting to know what took her to that point. Cause it's, well, she listen, just seems like a very passionate woman to me. Something had to happen to get her to where she was. Yeah. Like. People just don't yell and scream for no reason. Something had to have happened. Obviously. And that's why, like, I, that's what I think. All right. So you don't just obviously, all of a like, sudden want to like yell and scream at your really good friend. Obviously, yeah. maybe there was drinking involved and maybe something happened that got her upset and it led to that. But, you know, the problem is everybody gets their cell phones out right away. And right. when you're on TV, they want to like sell it to whoever wants to buy it. Exactly. And I know Angela would be, who's in the chat right now, be the first person to say, yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, but look, I know that when she gets like that, her feelings are hurt. And like, it, it's not like she's just being mean to be mean. Right. Like something transpired. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, for her well, you, to, you, to get you know her better to know, like right, and that's why, happen. like you know, and again, like I haven't, I haven't talked to Angela about it. Like I figured Angela was getting hammered, as it was with stuff, you know, because so I'm not going to be like, you know, hey, I'm going to add to the list, of, <laughs> you know. So I figured I, I'd hear about it when I hear about it. And I'm sure, um, like waking <laughs> up the next day and seeing it all over, you're like, oh my god, yeah, I, I didn't, I, I, I oh. Angela wants to come up. Oh, yay. We love it. Yeah. I'm kind of a little starstruck right now. I'm not going to lie. That's for Angela only people with that link. Um, <laughs> yeah. I love when she calls you Johnny just because no one else well, calls you Johnny. And, and a, a bunch of reality, a bunch of the people from this show, dude, like Ashley always called me Johnny. Pal calls me Johnny because it says John Yates. So it looks like uh, J-O-H-N-Y. Ah, uh, gotcha. So that's how Johnny came about. Um, I don't know if Angela's going to come up or not. So while we're, while we're waiting, um, <clears throat> so... I mean, I don't want to talk about it. She's going to come up. Oh, there she is. Okay. Yay. Hey, sweetheart. What is First of all, I'm not commenting on this shit. Second of all, Brooklyn girl, you don't know me at all to say what I drink and how what I am. Period. I, I heard say? what you said. I'm going to tell you right now. Like all this stuff keep missing. I'm telling you right now, you don't know me at all. Johnny told the truth. That's right. Listen. I'm not going to sit here and let I'd people, because anything. of what they see on this show, bash me anymore for what you don't know. So I'm not commenting on nothing that happened. As a matter of fact, people do bring out cell phones, but you can bet your ass. If you want me to be nice to you, you be nice to me. If you want damn violence or you want fighting, you come bring it to me. I'm not running from nobody. I treat people like they want me to treat them. This has nothing to do with you. And we're fine today. I'm making this. is the, I shouldn't even be on here now. I'm not allowed to make comments. But for you to sit there and say, you've been around me drink, you don't know nothing about me when I Wait, drink. I, I don't I was fight. around her? No, I think you misheard, Angela. I might have did something. because I. Said. Anyway, what was said. you're not around me enough to know me, period. Because everybody in their own house is different than they are out in public, period. I act the same fucking way every day. Every day. And I don't care what people's opinions are. Johnny, you know, I, I welcome you to do anything you want with me. I love you, your family. But and people's not going to sit there and try to get out what happened. That's none of their business. It's between me and Jen. We're no, fine now. I, Angela, and I'm not supposed to make Jen. no comments, but I'm making a comment because it pissed me off. No. Listen. Ange, first off, I, I think you might have misheard what she was, Brooklyn he, was she saying. definitely oh, misheard Angela, what nice she was saying. Oh, Angela, nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Thank you. She would die right thank now. you, I babe. Am so sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank, it's all right. It's all right. Thank you, sweetheart. Sorry, I'm getting Marley something to eat. Anyway, and, and. um, yeah, 
It was just a heated argument. That's it. I'm not even supposed to comment. So there you go. It's all over the world now because everybody's going to steal that and say because I don't give a shit at this point. But the point is, nobody knows me. Johnny, y'all know me. That's it. Y'all been in my house. But nobody else knows me. Y'all can speculate all out there and tell these lies from not that incident, from other incidents, and from all the way back to 2018. I could care less. I, I could know. care less. And that's why but I, I don't never go out and drink and treat people bad. That's the statement I I'm making. You don't. And I drinking don't give me courage juice because I'm couraged every fucking day. I have courage when I wake up. Girl, so give I don't me need courage to say the whole lie before you to, come up here and say something. No, no, no. I heard her say, say she's been around me while I was drinking. That's and it seems well, like no, I no, get no, drinking no, and no, I get no, angry. No, 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 Ange. No, she didn't say that. She's never been around. You guys have never We're both met. telling you that I never said that, but okay. you're not hearing that. No, Ange, I promise anyway, you. Anyway, Johnny, fine. Johnny, enjoy your live. I'm going to a Barbie movie. Oh, uh, you look good. Thank you, baby. And um, it wasn't what it looked like on this thing. Of course not. They I'm chopped sure it up. It's like they edit everything, but it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you. I forgot. Tell your mother hello, and I appreciate her support, baby. Thank, thank you, you, sweetheart. Thank, thank you, darling. Thank you. But that's it. Now I'm going to be in big trouble for making saying that because I usually don't say shit. Yeah, I usually keep call my call mouth shut. Call me, call me after the movie. I think you missed her. I what you said. I don't mistreat nobody drinking no, 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 alcohol. No, no, no. You, you missed her. What, what she said. That's what I'm saying. Well, if I did, I apologize. But it didn't sound like that to six of us sitting here. I didn't. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ever with you? I never Bye, Cody. I love you, sweetie. And I'll tell you this. If Johnny and Cody would have been there, I would have been fine because they take good fucking care of me. There you go. So for saying you're glad you're not there, I, you should, they should have been there oh, because I, I would have been was, in good hands. No, no, no. I didn't say I was glad I No, you there. didn't. She did. But you'd have, I'd have been in good hands if you and Cody were there because y'all have always took good care of me. That's what I'm saying. So it probably would have never happened if y'all were there because I would, me and you and Cody, we roll on our own, go where the hell we want to go. Well, next time we'll definitely be there. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in because I, I'm not, I'm not, but I, I love you. Working girl for Miss Trophy, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of that people saying that shit. And I'm not, I, I'm me every day. Drinking don't yeah, change so me. Really, I've always supported you and talked good Thank about you. I never said that. Well, maybe I misinterpreted it. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we all in the car misinterpreted it. And call me when you're done with the movie. Go ahead. Okay. Don't even worry about this. All right. I love you. Bye. And, uh, Bye, honey. uh I'm going to see fucking Barbie now. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I heard, heard it's good. Uh, yeah. Oh, I hope so. But got five girls screaming to see it. They're in the other vehicle because I'm in my sports car and I can't fit them in here. I would. <laughs> you know, I love to break the law. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you. Sorry, Bye, little girl, if I misheard you, but you can understand why I, I, I heard it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't talk bad about Jen. If you know, Jen, me and Jen is me and Jen. We have nothing bad to say about each other on social media, nothing. I shouldn't even be commenting now, but you know, sometimes you only take so fucking much. Yep. You only take so much. I'm sorry if you took it wrong. I apologize if I did. I mean, because I'm sorry. Y'all have no idea. You're like, I, I don't care if Johnny talks out. Johnny speaks no, the truth, whether I, he's I, my I'm family or not, and I let him. I just know you, and I. You I, do, I, and I've never been a violent drunk. And I, he says I was drunk then. I mean, I ain't even telling the people that. I ain't telling them no details. What it no, is, what it I is, don't. it happened. And listen, that's it. That's it. Who won it the battle? Who won the battle? Is it going to be um, Well, I got all tens. We, uh, we didn't know. Actually, we didn't know that you could. They had a card on the table. Big brother, big brother one. You could have people. If I'd have known that, and my and my people that came um, to rep, you know sit with me, uh, Flavor Rican came from TikTok, and uh, her wife, they the one did my hair. We would have we would have had everybody on TikTok and everywhere, you know, voting. We didn't know. We just thought it was the four judges because we got all tens, and obviously you had to you had you know the call in. But it was very fun. Everybody was nice. Was Chris so from nice. Instinct was Is very it wonderful. Be televised? Huh? Is it going to be televised? No. Oh, boo. No. But I was last, and um, I I, mean, I I got to meet the lovely pal. That was nice. I know I saw pal there. I'm like, oh, I miss pal. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. <laughs> they all were nice. Every one of them were nice, and you know, and whatever. But um, in, in this respect, I don't care if it's my daughters. If you if you come at me and I tell you to quit, quit. I don't give a damn who you are. Quit. 
That's fine. I know that. I know that's that's fine. Because I, I, I walk away from confrontation. And what y'all don't see on the tell-alls and shit, I be begging for an hour to stop, shut your mouth, and they don't. I'm not going to sit there and be uh, fucking mentally abused. Either shut up or get up, whoever you may are, whoever you are in the future. If you don't want it, then shut your goddamn mouth. That's it. Because I'm not the baddest bitch. I can get my ass whooped, but you're going to shut up bitching in my fucking ear. That's what you're going to do. Because I don't have to hear it. I don't go I don't go to functions to fight. I go there to make people have fun. I didn't get paid for that event. I did it for charity. I did it to make everybody have fun. So the only thing is people can speculate what they want. It wasn't as bad as it seems. But then again, I mean what I say. If you don't, you want to go around talking about I'm this and that and that, put the shoe on your foot because I am that one that you're not going to walk all over me. You're not going to mistreat me because you're not going to do it. I don't care who you are. I don't mistreat people like that. And if I do, there's a reason behind it, whether you and see that, it or not. Exactly it. I, I know you. And I said, if, if that ha got to that point, then there's a reason behind it. Aren't you like in hospice, though? So, I mean, I know you're like. What's in that got to do with someone getting in your face? What's that I'm got to do with anything working for hospice? Like, I'm, hospice I'm don't sick. A person, you're not sick walking on the street telling me, fuck no, no, you. No, no. You're not I'm sick. You're so a hospice person, person needs me and loves me and appreciates me. If they're out of there, they're cussing me and raising hell. That's a whole different scenario because Angela. they're sick. They're sick. I'm saying, no, I'm saying you're a compassionate woman. I'm very compassionate. That's what I was trying to say. You I'm very were, compassionate. Yeah. But, I, but I, I, you know, I, this you're editing you're and all this shit with everything that you see about me, it's to a point where if you don't know the full story, I know you got to do your job. Don't come at me. Yeah, don't no, no, do no. it. I meant that I'm just saying, know. whoever, don't. This is a new millennium, man, for me. Don't do it. Because yeah. I'm not I'm not taking it no more. I'm not taking no, it. No, it was. I'm not just, taking it. You know, it takes a special person to work in hospice. And that's. Yeah, no, you know, it's the power. You're kind it's and compassionate. That, that's my whole thing. It wasn't to upset you. Yeah. Well, it's not. I just, you know, I don't care what everybody's thinking, you know. Me and Jen don't even pay attention to that shit. She had, she made a comment. I just made a comment. I shouldn't have made that, but I love Johnny, and I don't want him getting bashed again for something I do. What I do, I'm an individual. He's going to love me no matter what I do. Johnny and Cody's going to love me no matter if I'm good or bad. That's just family. He can cuss me. He's the only one can cuss me out on a text, and I don't pay him no damn attention. <laughs> And tell him, son of a bitch, are you coming? Because that's where family. We don't take it to like to the heart. Because we love each other, and love is is the key. Love, you know what I'm saying? So, because I don't have many, I drop them like flies, and I've heard that. You fucking right, I'll drop them like flies. When I, I when when I figure out what the fuck you're doing, because I ain't paying attention, you're gone. Because I don't hang around women anyway. Never have, and I'm trying to do my best. But I hang around dudes because women's too much drama for me. I'm not saying they're drama, but for me, for me, <laughs> I'm not a gossiper. I'm not a one to go around talking about this and this and this and that one. And, and then when I, you know, in this business, a lot of people, not Dr. Jen, but before Dr. Jen, a lot of people ride your coattail and you really think you're your friends and they're just using your ass. Yeah. And, and and then you done you done then then you done got your heart into it, but but I drop them like flies. You'll see more drop. I don't have I don't have to. I got six grandkids that love me. I don't need their love. You if I wasn't on the show, would you hang around me? That's what I'm learning after six years. Would you really hang around me if I wasn't on the fucking show? Hell fucking no, none of you would even give me a fucking dollar to buy a drink. Now oh, that's fact. Y'all want a real shit, you got real shit. That's a fact. That's how you know who's, you know, really there for you and who's not. Right. And that is not saying Dr. Jen. I said the prior people before her. Right. Yeah, we heard you. So I love y'all. I'm going in here to watch Barbie. All right, go I'm have fun with Marley. Go get, go get Mama in a better mood. Marley. Well, I was. But now I'm going to be in trouble for being on the live, speaking on it. Because, you know, I'm, I'm fucking, I ain't allowed to say yeah, a fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, Everybody else can say what they want. Anything. They can get their opinions out. But Angel's got to hush, 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 quiet. Don't say nothing. Well, bitch, I'll say what I want when I want from now on. Okay. That's right. it. I am tired of being the nice guy and then I'm the bad guy when somebody already knows. If you fucking touch me or if you keep on at me and I ask you to stop, there's going to be a confrontation. That's six years on TV. You know that. Right, six Everyone years. So point. who's fault at it? Not Dr. Jim, but anybody. Oh, who's fault at it? If anybody keeps talking to me like I'm trash, think I'm gonna take it. 
It ain't the first time you've seen me tell someone do something. And it won't be the last. I will give you double respect if you give me a little. And I'll give you a what you want if you give me disrespect. That's it. And I'm 58 years old. And I got Indian blood, Irish, and German. And they're all a hell of a mix, is all I can tell you. <laughs> and people say, your grandkids. Don't involve my grandkids in shit. My grandkids are very well taken care of. And let me tell you something. I tell them to walk away from confrontation, walk away from this. And I tell them if they don't, if they put their hands on them, you got to defend yourself. And that's the bottom line. And that is still the law of the United States of a fucking America. I love y'all. Go, go to the Sorry, movie. Brooklyn, I misperpeted you. And I'll hear this tomorrow. I'll probably hear it in about an hour. Are you done doing Jenny's live? Yeah, I did. And then what? Call me later, okay? After <laughs> love you. Bye, love ladies. You Bye. Well, um, first slide back. All right. So, um, uh, I think she got like, I think the lines are crossed a little bit. I, I don't think we'll say anything bad, but you know, I, obviously Angela's on the defense right now. You know yeah. what I mean? And she's getting it from all angles. Uh, yeah. That's why I that's why I said like I wouldn't even call because I know how you you know yeah. listen I know what it's like to get have eight million people coming at you and uh, yeah. I mean she's 100%. Like, I mean she's on the show I get it from YouTube but like you know <laughs> she's on like you know on TV so it's you know a hundred times worse so oh I can't even imagine her DMs at this point it's like shoo wee um you okay there Brooklyn. I wasn't going to talk again until she was off because <laughs> I don't think she understood what I was saying. I'll, 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 I'll fix it. I was just saying that I'm glad you weren't there. So you weren't part of the drama because you have enough of your own drama. And then I was saying how, when I drink, how I can go either way, but I never said I knew her or I was with her, but I understand why she's upset. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so going back, I don't even know where we were prior to. Um, so we yeah, so, moving into the article. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously you saw like the Sun article, right? Um, nothing looks great. Uh, but what I was saying, and what you know, what kind of Angela was intimating as, like you know, she just doesn't do that just to do it, like. Right. I mean, we don't know what happened, like the five, ten, twenty minutes. Right hour you know ahead of time to this confrontation to you know even five minutes later and i think i have the invite the invites here somewhere so i think the event started like at eight or nine that night and we're talking about like like you know two o'clock in the morning so obviously everyone has been having a good time and uh so clearly like there was some type of fight in the cab ride which would everyone's reporting on between the time they got i guess from the venue back to the hotel uh and you know her and jenna you know they go at it uh what's there to say i mean as long as they're fine now i mean it it could have just looked like more than it was like people take their phone out and video things and make it seem worse than it is well yeah I mean, who knows? We weren't there. Yeah, I mean, people can take the slightest things and twist them. When you're in the spotlight, people are always looking yeah. for something. Right. You know, it's and unfortunate because it's not like I Angela's think, not known on the show, right? Right. It's unfortunate because I do think there are people in this world who want others to fail or, you know, always be in a bad light, whatever. It just, it's sad. And we we really would have been there had it not been for like like we had to like change course like you knew what hours I was before we would have been there because you have like all of your own drama like I was like aren't you glad you weren't there you you know like that's what we I really would have been there like if, if <laughs> we had to do something that day and like it totally canceled that out and we had to do it it was like the absolute last day it was for Cody and we had to do it that day so there was no way around it. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, you know, I do know Angela and I, um, if she was saying those things and acting that way, then it wasn't, then all I, all I know is that Dr. Jen must have said something to her. Like, like, I don't know. To me, she just seems like, you know, she's, 
you know, as she said, you know, she's there to make people laugh and have fun. And, you know, and it just, it went left somehow. So, you know, and she does, she, I've always said that I think that she is very compassionate and I do believe that she works in hospice and that does take a special person. I mean, you're doing, think, I, I know you were trying to say that, but she was heated. I don't think she knew what you meant by that. Yeah. And, and I mean, her, guard, you know, her guards like like past oh, yeah. yeah like you know yeah, my guards because, up. yeah it takes a special I'm... person to work in hospice i mean she is dealing with people who are actively dying every day and i don't i don't does she still do that job john um i i i uh was I she a hospice nurse she, oh, yo yeah okay. oh yeah oh yeah um, I don't think now as much as she, you know, prior to, I know, I, I know she was doing it uh, even when her mom was still around. Um, and then I think after her mom passed away, she took a break from it because, you know, she took her mom yeah. very hard, right. As, as she should have. So I think after that, she took a break from it because, you know, and she took care of her mom yeah. you know, for quite a while. Yeah, because was she in, was she with Michael when her mom was passing and had to fly oh, yeah. out? Yeah. Okay, I remember that. She, yeah. she dealt with a lot of stuff. She had to fly home to Nigeria quickly, so she didn't, you yeah, know. She sure um, she's, she's a strong. And, and the house that we were in, like, you know, her mom, we were like, you know, her mom had her own little section there. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not like forgiving Angela. Like, oh, look, John Yates will say anything. Like, you know, listen, they had a fight, friends fight. Um, we fall with her. <laughs> we have a fall with Angela. Yeah, we've gotten into our, our little tips. Um, that's what not like that. Who can read the oh, chat? No, not definitely not like that. No, no. Um, no. You know, I don't. I don't know what. All I can think of in my head is that Jen said something like really wild to Angela for Angela to do that to Jen because. I'm glad all of you in the chat. So uh, what just happened? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I don't respond to people that way, so I just shut my mouth. <laughs> that's, that's aggressive for me. So I, I, I'm, I was scart. <laughs> that's just a bit much for me. <laughs> like, yeah, I. <laughs> it's okay. Just another fun-filled live here on Yates TV. <laughs> and this happened on what Wednesday, right, or Tuesday night, or something like that? Like late Tuesday night, yeah, because that was the yeah. first. I had like just seen it. I really didn't like pay attention to the article, um, you know. But I was just, you know, I didn't see it until you had uh, sent it to me and asked me to go live. So. Yeah, well, everyone on like IG was like, "You're the only blogger not talking about it. You're protecting her." And I'm like, "A, I'm in a way. Be like, okay, probably, and <laughs> see, like, whatever. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't, been, I haven't been live at all, so like, wasn't really like, you know, I have to go live and talk about, you know, because I really yeah. have been enjoying not being live. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, but yeah, uh. You know, I, I, knowing Angela as I do, if you want my honest opinion, and I think Cody would back me up with this, if, you know, do you have, I'm not going to play the video. Everyone's seen the video, right? Like, we've all seen it. Everybody it's, knows it's, every, everyone's yeah. talked about it. I'm, like, four days late into this, right? So you're all, so. you're all well aware of, like, you know, what the Sun reported and everything like that. Um but all I can say, knowing Angela, as I do, that if she was saying, I, I heard what she was saying to Jen. I, I mean, I'd listened to that video 20 times. I mean, how could you not? Um, you know, Angela was hurt and she was like trying to hurt back. Yeah. So I don't know. You what, and she are a lot alike. What, what lit that, what lit that flame uh, for that to go on uh you know and i and i also read where like angela and i think you know um jen just said well jen had said in the sun article that like you know it looks a lot worse 
you know, it's it yeah. really wasn't that bad. I mean, that can be all good and well, you know, you don't want you want to make it seem like it was just like a skirmish. And yeah. if I'm being honest, I don't believe that. And Angela knows, like, I, you know, I, she wants me to be true. I, like, I don't, I don't believe that they're okay. Like, you know, yeah, I don't think they are. Because I, I know her and I know if she was that mad at Angela. I mean, if she, if she was that mad at Jen, then she, that wouldn't have happened. If she was that mad at me just now, from one comment that I think she heard wrong. Uh, Dude, she came at me when I said. Again, you, like, and I don't want to. All you said was <laughs> your hospice here so you have compassion. And Yeah. I know. But like, I get it. She's like on high alert. Her guard is so like crazy. High oh, yeah. And don't forget, she has a new show starting in like, what, a, a week? Yeah. yeah, next week sometime. You know, and I'm sure, week. like, TLC is probably not happy with that exchange that just happened. So I'm sure she's getting it from, like, every yeah, end. And I, I'm I'm even amazed she, she came up on this live just now. Good. Like, because, like, because I wasn't even going to call her. I said, nope. Are you going to call Angela? I said, nope. I said, nope. No, <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's the last person on earth I would call right now. Let her calm down. When she's like, ready to talk about it, she'll know. let me know. Because, yeah. We know, how, yeah. We, know how, we know how she works. Like, no. Uh, she'll talk when she wants to talk. And we were, you know, we're friends with everybody involved, too. We we like Dr. Jen, you know, we yeah. like Molly. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's tricky. Um, so people are asking if you are going to cover the new live or are you going to extend your hiatus a bit more? Oh, I'm not covering that show. <laughs> you guys can do it without me. I'm out. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not covering or watching. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. Where's where's all that thick skin? Where'd it go to? <laughs> oh, no, I just don't. I told you last week I have no desire to watch that show. I'm all about sister wives coming and I can't it's gonna be hard. Um, yeah, I mean we'll we'll watch it, right? Well, I mean, we know the outcome of like so many of the couples. That's the problem. Yeah, I mean, you know well, pretty much everybody watching me right now knows the outcomes of the of the couples. You know that Kalani and Espoela are done, you know that Molly and Luis are done. I wonder why they're putting the show. Not Luis Kelly. Oh, uh, he's always been Luis to me. Whatever, I don't care. Luis was the first guy. But yeah, he's he's the same. Um, whatever. Uh, they're done. You know, Jovi and Yara are still together and happy. Like, uh, Ed and Liz just got married. So, uh oh, I guess really? they made that. I think. Oh. Uh, not to Ed, I'm assuming. Wait, maybe I'm wrong on that one. <laughs> maybe John's spilling tea that he really shouldn't be telling. See, this is what happens when I don't go live for weeks. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's... You know what? And if they did, God bless them. I, no, I, I don't know. Shit. I think... I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Motion to strike from the record, what I just said. I don't know. Um... I might be wrong. So, <laughs> um, <That's funny. laughs> well, if they did, they haven't posted. So probably like waiting for a people exclusive or something. Yeah. I, like some exclusive. I forgot who told me that. And I'm like, cause now, now it's just it's like one ear, like out the other. Oh my God. Talking again. about Liz and Ed got married. Yeah. I heard that they did. That's a, uh... but I don't, maybe I'm wrong. They're saying they bought a house together. Maybe that's it. Maybe they got a prenup. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. So in um, conclusion with this whole Angela, Dr. Jen thing, um, do I think in my heart of hearts that they're still friends right now? No, I don't. But that's just my opinion. And I don't I think, think they are. You and Sh Angela, like, just in comparison are a lot alike. You know, you have people coming in and out of your life who use you to build their platform. 
you know, and she has people in and out of her life who want to attach to her because she's on television, you know, and she's very passionate. And so are you. It's like you're all like twin flames. Yeah, that's probably why we get along so well together. But, you know, was everything Angela did good? No. I mean, Angela knows that, you know, and I'm sure she's had to like, you know, what do you what do you want me to say? Like I know people like they want me to drag Angela. Like what do you want me to say? Don't drag anyone. Just I'm not. Up. You know, did she did she f up? Yes. Does she know it? Yes. We weren't there. We don't know what happened. And we don't know what happened that wasn't filmed. Also, exactly. And right. you know, still whatever. Um, America. And I don't know what you want me to say. Well, I mean, you know, and she is true. You know, we only see this little snippet of, you know, how she's portrayed on the show. Where you know her in real life. You've got to spend time with her. And But listen, from what I'm seeing, I guess Dr. Jen put up like clips of them the next day. Like everything's great. They're all tagging each other. So... Looks like they work past it, right? We'll say they're past it. I will say though that I did I did catch this today. Um, I was looking at Dr. Jen's story, and okay. she posted a couple. Uh, let me see here. That's a big DLT. Bro oh. looks so ready to get off this live. <laughs> you better um, turn that frown upside I don't down. Don't want to comment on anything about this because I don't care. <laughs> well, I will. This is kind of like, hmm, like this, this, this might give you cause for a side eye into like, but, um, Tom, um, Tom Brooks, you know, Darcy's okay. Tom, um, wrote my dearest friend, Jen, my heart is filled with affection for you. Your kindness, sweetness, and authenticity shine brightly, making you the epitome of loyalty. Having you in my life is, is blessing beyond measure. And I'm truly grateful for the beautiful person you are. And that was from Tom. Very sweet. Tom hmm. Brooks to, to Dr. Jen. It's, and then. That seems odd with his girlfriend. I told you, side eye. And then mm -hmm. next, Mariah, Tom's girlfriend, also leaves a little testimonial for Dr. Jen. Great Mariah. I follow her. She's awesome. And I love Mariah. Um, and I met, I actually, both, I met Tom and Mariah at Angela's birthday party in Vegas a couple years back. Um, Mariah writes, it's truly disheartening to witness the strain between these two friends. The genuine love and friendship between them makes the situation even more poignant. The unfolding drama becomes all the more tragic when public figures are involved with their private conflicts are exposed to the world without um, sanctity. Absolute tragedy. Disagreements are an inherent part of human interactions, and it's saddening to witness these differences escalate to this extent. One can only hope that these two individuals are granted the privacy they need to mend their bond. It's indeed regrettable that someone chose to capture videos and photos instead of, interview, in, instead of intervening in a caring and empathetic manner. That person should be ashamed of themselves. This situation underscores the importance of genuine concern for others over mere voyeurism. It and seems very um, yeah. TLC. Yes. Yeah. It seems very. I um, didn't see like Tom and Mariah doing those same shout outs to Angela, but maybe they have, and there's more to the story. I don't know, but it just maybe like, I'm like, huh, there's like, like a slight side. Again, like I have not been do doing my best as a blogger. <laughs> um, I've been trying to trying to take it easy as of late. So, um, you know, uh, and this being my first like regular live in like what, like two, three weeks. I don't know how like long that. it's been. Uh, <laughs> but minus your dinner with Brooklyn. Yes. And which I, which Brooklyn made me do. And I told her, I said, I didn't want to do this. So that's not her. <laughs> um, I, you know, all I know, and I know everybody wants me and oh, Yates isn't going to say anything bad about it. And I'm not, you know, she like, she's family. And I, like, you know, you're genuinely friends. Why would you trash talk? Yeah, like, you know, like, I wouldn't trash talk you or Brooklyn. I wouldn't trash talk anyone in this chat. 
you know, Angela's adults enough to know, like, you know, what's what's up. And yeah, like, you know, oh. listen, you've seen me and Cody fist fight here in her own house. I mean, like, you know, stuff shit happens. Yeah, you I know, mean, you know, stuff goes down. You right. know, not everything is hunky dory every day of the, you know, it's part of being an adult. You disagree, you move on, you make up, you get better. Um, According to Eliza, Ed and Liz's wedding in Arkansas and the Holland Barn on 829. Oh, is that is that it? So it's coming is that where, up. Is that where I read that? <laughs> there we go. Ar is she from Arkansas? Didn't he go to Arkansas, like, you know, when they no, were in single he's life? from there, right? Who is? He Ed's is, from? right? I thought Ed was from California. No, no he, he went there, like, you know, like, his, like, sister was there, but his brother wasn't. And, like, it was on the single life. Or it was, like, some weirdness. Yeah, I, I didn't much enjoy the single life. It was okay. So, I guess uh it's it's more nays and yays on um recapping these the, you know and like again i had to blame tlc because they taped this back in december guys how could you have a show where all of america already knows the outcome before i have no interest in watching it right i mean you know we know that jovi and yara angela and michael and who else is on there um, um, Kalani and Asuelu, they're Molly done. and they're done. Molly, uh, Ed and Liz, Ed and Liz, and there's somebody else I forgot. So half the couples are still are together, and the other half aren't. I mean, I I, I do know that there are going to be some like big fights there because I remember some maybe a birdie on the phone with me when that was being filmed saying like there are some crazy fights maybe between Kalani and Asuelu I don't know but um <laughs> there, there are some crazy fights between Kalani and Asuelu is he supposed to be dating winter who cares I just heard it I mean Come on, John. Tell us how you. Really that's feel. like um. That's like uh, Veronica dating uh, Jamal. Like, sure, have fun with that. Yeah. Or Jesse and um, uh, Jennifer. Okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all seem cute. Uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, what they should have if they filmed this last December at the early, like the latest, they probably should have put it out by February. Yeah. I mean, they really it's too late. Like it's just, you know, I mean, we're almost what, almost a year later. Yeah. Eight we're going, we're, you know, September is the next month. We're back in the Burr months. I mean, that's funny. So, the Burr months. <laughs> so like, yeah. it, it, we're really only like, you know, be like, I guess entertaining the people who don't have social media and just like, you know, watch TV without like following the cast on, like, you know. Whatever people I mean, like they would have do had that. to literally shut down their social medias of any part for the last nine months. And I don't see that happening. No, because you can't. Because there's so many spinoffs and this, that, and the other, like, you know. Yeah, that's not like real life. Yeah, they have uh, yeah. milked this cow dry. 9 Day Fiance want to get their ratings back. You film a house Big Brother style live and, and have live evictions. Then we'll see what's really up. <laughs> so have you started watching Big Brother? No, it didn't start yet, did it? Yeah, it did. It started last Wednesday. Oh, no, we haven't home. No, no. Okay. But this writer's strike is really killing us right now. Like, I like, I'm like, can we like get back to like where like my show start? Because, well, um, you think about everything that's going on with Bethany Frankel. Yeah. Oh, with her suing everybody now. Well, well she's no. not 
doing everybody she wants well, to unionize the, reality stars but i mean she's a, listen she's a powerhouse that one she really is but you figure you know like the housewives have a little different star power than some of the tlc stars yeah but what she's saying is that yeah. they're put in situations that aren't right and they're it's done on purpose and that i don't know that the networks need to like compensate them for certain things and not put them in certain situations and well i guess nene leaks really talked about this first a while back well yeah she i mean she's saying I that listen to her in a way you know well bethany's saying you know like the you know like especially like the bachelor bachelorette they really don't get the revenues and stuff from the show like right. actor and actresses do. You know, right. they don't really profit from the merchandise and all or that. the back end or like they don't get like, you know, shares on reruns and stuff like right. that. They're not you know. getting residuals, you know. Well, I mean, it, it, it is true. Like, you know, how many of us watch old reality shows that like. And they don't get a dime. No. Thing back. But then there's also was an article that said, you know, these people can get their SAG cards. Nothing's stopping them from joining the actors union. Wow. Well, then there's that too, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you know, Bethany was smart enough to, when she was starting out her business, like skinny girl was exempt from Bravo's, you know, like if you're going to report a show, Bravo gets so much of it. And you know, she was like, okay, I'll sign, but you're all not getting anything of skinny girl. She's just so smart in general. She is. I mean, she's, you know, very savvy. And she's kept her way, uh, kept away for people to keep, talk, you know, keep, blah. she's kept away for people to keep talking about her. You know, um, he, she hasn't been on the show. And like, <laughs> after she left New York, that show just nosedived. And now they're back with a new cast, which. I still have not watched one episode of New York. I've heard that the like the first episode, like ratings were excellent, and they're just progressively going like downhill. I haven't watched it. I haven't. I want to watch Ramona and Luann and Sonia and Bethany. I don't want to watch my, these movies. Uh -uh. Yeah. No, and no, I no. did hear that uh, Sonia and Luann have a second season coming, which I haven't even watched. Their first season. Well, I thought I thought that didn't go through. Crappy Lake oh, went through. Oh, okay. Is it going to be like another small town, or is they going back to Crappy Lake? They're just redoing the simple life. I mean, yeah, they, they'll probably be like Crappy Lake interns now. It'll they'll probably <laughs> just copy like the simple life thing, like you know, like they did. Which I love the simple life. But um, I know that I know that Brooklyn, you're going to be away for a bit, yeah, or yes. probably forever after tonight's life. Probably forever. No. Yes. I'm <laughs> um, so you How long are you gonna be gone? No, I'm gonna be away for like a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about it. Are you going to your uh home in uh Italy? No, no, the palace. No, we're just are you going to Monte Carlo this time? Nothing <laughs> fancy, nothing fancy. Oh, oh no, you're not staying with the prince. Are you hiking Italy? Kilimanjaro? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fancy. Oh. Gonna be on below deck presenting, you know, renting the super yacht. Are you like the I new K Chastain? Boy, do I wish. <laughs> oh, they have a new show coming out, correct? Yes. Captain Lee and Kate. I think that'll be good. I'll watch anything with K Chastain on it. I love Kate. Right. She was on Project Runway last night. Oh, really? Doing what? Yes. Um, they they had the below <laughs> deck um designing a new uniform for you know the yachties and she was one of the judges but you saw like captain jason sandy was there uh but captain lee uh he like introduced it but he wasn't anyone's model he was just like you know this is your requirements yeah and he was just like you know these are the requirements it has to be black it has to be white and go from there and the winning uniform actually was beautiful it's like i could definitely see that as a uniform 
The other one's not so much. But yeah, Project oh. Runway. Because I love Kate. I love Kate. Great. She's great. Kate's like the perfect amount of bitch for me. Like, I, oh, yeah. Like she's like, she's got it. She's just got a quick wit she about does. her. She's so quick. She's I mean, awesome. her rocket ship? Hello. <laughs> Captain, I don't know what you're talking about. It was a rocket ship. <laughs> no, I, I, I love her. I do. <laughs> All right. So in summation, because I said I was going to keep this under an hour, and I'm keeping mm -hmm. to what I said. Um, The whole thing with, you know, Angela and Jen looks like it's worked itself out. Uh, Or not. Or not. We don't know, but it's not our business, so it is what it is. Um, I hope you got what you wanted out of me talking about it. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I was getting so much crap on Instagram. You're not talking. You're not. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I'm not even home. <laughs> um, but uh, what where have you I, been? Any place you can I share? I don't go live anymore. For, for where have you been? Any place you can share? Huh? Where have you been? Any place you can share? No. Any place good? Okay. Just out. Any place where, I got, where I've gotten color. <laughs> well, you do live close to the Jersey Shore, you know. I do. So, uh, all do here. Do you go to the beach a lot? Like, because you're right there. Do I go to the beach a lot? Yeah, like, do you walk down out of your house down to the beach a lot? We walk on the boardwalk a lot. But you don't go to the beach? Like, no, you don't I don't like sand. I don't like this sand. I'm a pool guy. I always will be. I'm a I'm a pool swimmer. But if I was that close, I feel like I would definitely go to the beach. Because like, but we've also lived in Florida, and like when you lived in South Florida, and like the water is always like piss when you walk in it up here, it's like always a letdown. So really, well, I would imagine it's cold, right? Cold, yeah. Compared to here to Fort Lauderdale, yeah, the warmer is a little bit colder yeah, up in these parts. In the so. But no, we walk on the boardwalk. I just, I don't like sand. So I don't, we, in the three years, four years, how long have we lived here? Almost four. We have never laid out on the beach, not one time. No. That's, that's crazy. Do you even lay out in your backyard or? No. Backyard or? Why would I lay out in the backyard when the beach is right there? You said you don't like the beach. Uh, well, well duh. You might like to lay out. I don't. I'm I, not a layer outer. Like I'm not no, either. I, 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 if I get color, like if it's like I'm in the pool, and like I'm I'm flapping around like an idiot. No, like, not me. I, I burn. So I stand. Well, I put the, the top down in the car and I drive around, and then I get a nice little glaze on my head. That's about <laughs> it. But yeah, um, maybe we could do um, ninety day. I guess on uh, Monday. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. I can do it. Let me well, know. I'll grab my interesting. Huh? This was certainly interesting. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most interesting lives I've ever done. But I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much weight into it. I, I honestly I you know her guard just really high and you know yeah. I'll explain it. it yeah. yeah, I she definitely She'll and I think oh, her yeah. loved ones, you know their guards are just as high. And she was probably like, oh my God, what's Shawnee going to say about it? You know, because like I like I said, I haven't talked to her and she knows yeah. I'm not going to go out and like yeah. you know, brag her or whatever. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, I know what it's like to be in that spot. And, yeah, you know, just up from a YouTube angle, not thinking about from like, you're on like, actually like a TV show angle. Oh, yeah. So that's 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 tough man i mean that's why i haven't been around because i'm like I, I can't deal with this crap i couldn't even imagine so but that was it we we, we made it past our uh i don't know whatever you want to call this and um <laughs> we'll um we'll see you guys um soon bye guys bye guys have a good night bye Doodles. <laughs>